Hi Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment, person on your mind. Just a couple things I'd like to mention. Uh, one, if you'd like to enter my personal reading giveaway, details are below how to enter. But basically you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. Also below in the description box, there will be an extended reading link. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Um, I will look at the next three to four weeks of energy and I treat it like a personal reading. I will also look at future love energy. So uh, new love energy besides the person on your mind as well. So more details later about that again in the comments and also in the description box. So with that, let's get started here, uh, Pisces. Let's do the energy here for person on your mind. We're going to uh, start with your energy, mutual energy, your person's energy. We'll clarify what's needed. I will also get... Uh, we'll do some uh, Kipper cards and some Hidden Truth uh, oracles. So we'll see what they really want to say or what they're thinking. So let's get the energy here for you, Pisces. Let's pull Pisces energy here first. And then we'll get the mutual energy. Okay, got to move that over so you can see it. Definitely got your energy here. Wow. Let's get, uh, I'm going to have to move those over. Your person's energy. Wow, Pisces. Let's get the mutual energy. Interesting. Okay. I feel like there was something here that happened. Okay feeling disappointed here. I feel like for some of you, there could be a third party situation going on or someone influencing this connection in some sort of way. But it's interesting because besides that, the energy looks really good here. So let's see what we get here. All right, in your energy here, we have the temperance. And we also have here the Sun card. Strong Leo, strong Sagittarius showing up in your energy here, Pisces. Okay. Uh, some of you, this could be a, definitely get a twin flame energy because we also have here the four of wands. Right. I feel like there, there's definitely angel protection here between you and this person. Okay, I feel the two of you brought together for a reason. With the sun and the temperance here, I do feel like there's something here around timing, patience. Maybe you've been patient with this person. It does feel like you see the potential here with this person with the sun card. Sun card's also my yes card too, <clears throat> if you have a question. But you got the unknown card here and you have the four of wands. Okay, so... I feel like Pisces with the unknown card here and the four of wands. This is your card. Okay, so some of you may be questioning, <clears throat> excuse me, having doubts, having uncertainty here about this relationship. Some of you, I feel here, um, like I said, there, I feel like there could be another person in the mix here. That may not be for everybody. We'll see as we go. But I feel like you're really questioning, is this something that is going to be stable? Is this, is there going to be commitment? Is there going to be marriage? We're going to, I'm going to clarify, I'm going to see what that's about. Okay. Now, some of you, this could be questioning, um, questioning a reconciliation. Somebody, some of you may be, um, maybe wanting to reconcile with someone or not even sure because you have the two of swords here on the bottom of the deck and you have the hangman so it almost feels like you're not getting answers like i'm hearing you're not getting answers i channel the messages as well okay feeling in limbo um, again, you know, here's the King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles here, not seeing a whole lot of stability or change, or I'm just going to say movement right into something stable here. Let's go to the mutual energy. This is what's interesting. Okay. We have the two of Pentacles and the three of cups. I'm going to clarify this, but I, I feel like, you know, either you were just weighing your options here 
um, about this connection, right? Whether this could be something that is, you know, a happy connection leading to commitment or some of you, I feel like this could be either an on and off connection where this person is going back and forth between you and somebody else, but we're going to clarify that energy. And then we have the full card and we have the three of pentacles. Okay. So I see somebody here wanting to work on things. I see disappointment. You see two people there, three of pentacles energy. So someone has their back turned here. Okay. So I feel like you may have your back turned to this person here, disappointed. Okay, now there's something here about taking a risk leap of faith. We're going to clarify. I'm going to um, call the energies out. We have Sagittarius, Leo. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy as well. And we do have fire. Okay, pretty much have all the energies on the board, but I did call it the strong signs. Okay, now in your person's energy, this is what is interesting. We have the Nine of Cups and we also have the Six of Cups. Okay, I feel like the energy with this person, this person feels a lot of happiness with you. I feel like this person, right, their wish is to be with you here with the Six of Cups. There's a soulmate energy. Some of you may even have a child with this person or you knew this person in early childhood. Okay, so I feel like some of you are questioning whether the two of you are going to connect also, whether this could lead to a relationship. Some of you, I feel like this could also be a newer relationship for some of you. Okay. And you have the devil Capricorn energy. I didn't call that out in the page of cups. Okay. So yeah, I feel like there is another person around your person. Okay. So there could be a friend around your person. Um, there could also be, you know, we're going to clarify, there could be a friend here that is influencing this connection or another person, you know, I feel like I was picking that up. So this person here, there may be that, uh, your person could be dating you and someone or going back and forth between you and someone. Okay. Um, and that may be why you're feeling here. Like you're not getting answers. You're not getting clarity. Okay, but we're going to clarify, right? Could turn out differently as we clarify, okay? Let's clarify the unknown here, please. Why is the unknown card here, please? Why is the unknown card here, please? Ten of Cups, yeah. Interesting. Ten of Cups, and you also have the Six of Swords, okay? Now, some of you, there could be travel distance here, so I'm sensing that you may be questioning um, whether this is um, a situation that is going to go smoothly, right? There's going to be a happy ending here with the Ten of Cups. Are things going to be happy? Now, there could be also some sort of conflict. There could have been a conflict that the two that maybe you're feeling uncertain with, right? Could have been a conversation or some sort of conflict that happened. And you're wondering if the two of you are going to be able to get past it and be happy is what I'm seeing there. Because I did see some sort of disappointment. Why is uh, temperance here, please? Why is temperance here, please? Okay, we have the high priestess. Oh, look at that. And bottom of the deck. I have to say here, too, you have the four of wands. You have the high priestess, the two of cups, and you have the four of wands. Second, times we're, second time we're seeing the four of wands here. So I feel like you got somebody here... Um, that there is mutual love between you and this person definitely feels like a very strong spiritual connection. I feel like this is a very uh, strong soulmate uh, tie with this person. Some of you could be even twin flame here, but um, yeah, I feel like this is too around divine timing with this person. I'm going to move on now to the... Um, Two of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups. Why is the Two of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles, 
Yeah, nine of wands. Some of you may be, okay, definitely feels like an energy here of waiting for a commitment. What's interesting is we do have the lovers on the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. So I told you I feel like um, this could be someone having to, somebody could have be having to make a decision. It could even be you, Pisces, okay? Somebody here, I feel there could be another person involved and a decision needs to be made. Now, if it doesn't resonate with you, that's only if you feel like there's somebody else around. Um, you know, it can also be, right, there's a very strong connection here. Okay, I always say with this cards, it's a connection where this person has marked your heart, okay, forever. It's one of those uh, energies where, you know, you never forget this person, right? Let's see why the Three of Cups is here. Why is the Three of Cups here, please? Why is the Three of Cups here, please? Okay, so we got the Eight of... Oh my gosh, look at that. The Eight of Pentacles and the Three of, of Cups. Okay, so some of you, I feel like this definitely could be around... Um, a reconciliation, okay, if you don't feel there's a third party. Some of you, I feel here too you could work with this person or this could be somebody at this person's work okay some of you i do feel like this could be a third party here um and there you may be feeling like their attention and their focus could be on a third party but others i feel like this is you're trying to figure out here right is this a connection here that the two of you are going to be able to get past some sort of conflict or some sort of conversation that was had here between you and this person okay, to work things out, all right, um, I feel like some of you too have been waiting here, right, waiting for something bigger, okay, or this person to offer something, you know, more stable, more secure here for the long term, let's see uh, why the three of pentacles is here, why is the three of pentacles, because this really, even though there's disappointment, there's an energy here working together, somebody taking a, a risk, leap of faith, so I feel like I'm going to clarify those together. Why is the Fool card here and the Three of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, yeah, look at that. Ace of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. So this person's been doing a lot of reflecting here. Okay, could be an Earth sign or a Fire sign. Okay, I feel like this person here uh, definitely feels like there's time invested here. Um, you know, the disappointment may be also that you may be feeling like this person is, is taking this connection, you know, too casually. Um, but I feel like this person has been reflecting here on the situation. They're not, um, somebody here too, with the sound of pentacles, there's, there's growth here, but it's not, I feel where you want it to be. Okay. It's not where you desire it to be. Okay, so somebody, though, I feel is taking a risk, a leap of faith here. Okay, what's this risk, this leap of faith about? What can you share with Pisces? And then we'll go to, we'll clarify your person's energy. Okay, we got the King of Cups, okay, and the Sun card here. Interesting. Sun card two times, Leo energy. We also have Scorpio here with King of Cups. So I feel like this is someone who... Um, it almost feels like this person needs to invest more emotionally with you, Pisces. So I feel like this person is someone they're going to try and be more vulnerable with you is what I'm getting here. Uh, I think I said it already, but the sun card is my yes card. Okay, three of wands and the eight of wands. Yeah, this person's coming towards you. Uh, with communication. I feel like this person's going to try and open up more. Uh, they're definitely thinking about the future there with the three of wands. You've got three of wands and the four of wands. Okay. Now I will say you have the emperor here, Aries energy. So this is someone who's planning their next move. Okay. I feel like you're dealing with someone who likes to be um, you know, in control of, of how fast this connection goes. Let's uh, get into, uh, we got the Nine of Cups and we have the Six of Cups, okay? I'm going to clarify those together. Why is the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups here, please? Why is the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups here, please? Okay. Okay, all right. 
well oh my gosh look what showed up again the four of wands okay so what i see here is it definitely feels that they're worried about something here okay so it feels like something happened between you and this person it feels like maybe something here wasn't working okay or maybe they're feeling like there's not a very strong foundation between the two of you right now but you got the page of pentacles here as well so this is showing me here, um, I feel like, you know, their wish I feel here is to be with you, to, um, I feel here to share um, maybe their good news or things going on in their life. They want to catch up with you, but there's something here they're worried about, okay? So, and I feel like it's about them taking a step towards you because I feel like there's something here, either they're feeling you're disappointed or something actually happened, a conflict um, even the tower here could have even been a breakup here. So this person's worried. I also say with the Knight of Wands, this is someone who could be having nightmares or they could be somebody who uh, can't sleep at night. They can't find peace. And I always say it's because there's something on their conscience, okay? There's something that, uh, on their conscience they don't feel good about, okay? So now we have the Devil card here and we have the Page of Cups. I'm going to clarify that devil and that page of cups. Let's see what that's about. Why is the devil and the page of cups here, please? Why is the devil and the page of cups here, please? Okay, we got the king of swords. Okay, yeah, look at that. Two of pentacles again. There's something here this person needs to be honest about. And we have the six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's someone around this person, okay? Like I said, it could even be a friend, but it feels, um, for some of you, a temptation. Somebody here who may have given in to temptation. I feel, you know, I feel a third-party situation. Someone who, they need to be honest. That's why this person can't sleep at night, okay? Because they've been giving to something else here, okay? Now, I'm going to say, it doesn't have to be, a th you know, it could be them giving attention to their children. It could be them giving attention to work. Maybe they're a workaholic, okay? This devil can be that energy, right, of addictions. Maybe they're giving energy to addictions. You're going to know how it resonates with you. You also have your judgment, okay? So this is someone I feel that they may have some past karma that they are having to deal with, okay? Making good with the past. Now, it could be making good with the past with you, but it could also be making good with something else in their life, some sort of karma that they're having to go through is what I'm seeing here. We also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person's coming towards you. That's what the energy is showing me here. Um, as I said, I feel here this person wants an opportunity here. They want to reach out, but there's something they're worried about, okay? And I feel it's honesty. I feel really Pisces about this person being honest with you. Let's see what the Kipper cards have to share here with Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Please share it with Pisces what they need to know. Okay, interesting, poverty. I just did uh, Scorpio's reading, actually, because we got Scorpio here. And this was the very first card that came out too, poverty, lack. Okay, something here you're feeling is lacking from this person. You're not getting what you need. They could have even ghosted you, right? That could even be what they're needing to be honest about. Okay, marriage. <laughs> okay, it's around... Um, a marriage here maybe some of you feel right you want commitment you want marriage there now some of you too it can be um some of you could this person could be in a marriage but that's not going to be for many of you here let's see what else we have okay they're thinking about you you are in their thoughts definitely showing me that energy we're going to get some um hidden uh truths in a moment um, about your person, what they're thinking um, or feeling about you. Look at that. Thoughts and despair. Okay. Yeah. So this person's having regrets here about something here. You're definitely on this person's mind. And that's what I was saying here. Some sort of disappointment. And they know. They know. Here. Let's see what else comes out. Okay, yeah, here's judgment, judication, okay? Again, like I said, making good with the past. Let's see what comes out with judgment. 
Oh my gosh, third party situation, yeah. So again, there's something here about them making good with something that either they did or their past, something that they need to be honest with you about. Wow, okay. But bottom of the deck here, you do have courtship, okay? So I feel like there's an energy that this person is coming towards you and they know that they need to be consistent, okay? I don't feel like the, this is done you know, from what I'm seeing, but let's um, pull some messages, uh, some hidden truth messages, what this person is thinking or want to say to, to Pisces. Okay, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Now, whether it's just that this person's been distant or there was some sort of breakup here. Okay, finding out the truth crushed me, okay? So I almost feel like that's an energy this person had to look themselves out in the mirror. Some of you too may, um, you know, this is this person's thoughts, okay? So I really feel like this is, right, somebody who now has had time to think and reflect about things and they're realizing their truths here, okay? So they're having to look themselves in the mirror about what happened. I couldn't let you get close to me. I wish I could take back my words. So they may have said something that they wish they didn't say. And I know I messed up. I know I messed up everything. And I wonder if you are happy without me. So this person's definitely having regrets and they're having to look themselves in the mirror for whatever happened, whatever truth here I feel that um, they haven't revealed to you. So Pisces, I'm going to take this to the extended. We're going to see how it plays out over the next three to four weeks. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.